Moving on, we go to the SR view. The SR view classically has the left kidney obtained as one of the target organs, and then the spleen is also in that same area. By recognizing the kidney, the sonographer knows that they have viewed a window into the retroperitoneal space, so outside the abdominal cavity. By seeing the spleen in this region, the sonographer knows that they have imaged into the abdominal cavity. The spleen is not readily apparent here in this still image. Moving on, we move to the SR view. That's just caudal to the ribs to pick up the target organs there, which is the left kidney and the spleen. In this view, once we achieve seeing the left kidney, we know that we have a window into the retroperitoneal space, as well as picking up spleen in the foreground here, we know we are in the intra-abdominal space. There the left kidney is in view, and we can pan ventrally towards the tabletop, cranially and caudally spotlighting this area for free fluid. This dog is negative for free fluid. Moving on, we move to the SR view. That's just caudal to the ribs to pick up the target organs there, which is the left kidney and the spleen. In this view, once we achieve seeing the left kidney, we know that we have a window into the retroperitoneal space, as well as picking up spleen in the foreground here, we know we are in the intra-abdominal space. There the left kidney is in view, and we can pan ventrally towards the tabletop, cranially and caudally spotlighting this area for free fluid. This dog is negative for free fluid.